Riley, about you coming out to see my parents this weekend. Right now, my dad and everyone is out of the country, so the only person that'll be there is my mom. I hope that's alright with you. Wait, so not even your siblings are going to be home then? I think if it's only going to be your mom, then maybe we should change plans to another day, right? No, it'll be alright. My dad and older brother happen to love working a lot, actually. So they don't really ever have the time to see you. But with my mom, she's the one who's always home. So having her be the one to judge you is the best thing for everyone. Is that so? But with it only being her there, I'm even more nervous for this weekend. I have to make sure that I make a good first impression or else your mom might never like the idea of me being with you, Caleb. You'll be totally fine, Riley. She might be a bit of a stickler at times, but as long as your impression on her this time is spot on, then you won't have to worry about yourself after. Just talk about all the good things about yourself, and listen to what she has to tell you, and you'll be just fine. Listen to what she has to tell me? That's a bit scary. What's she going to say to me? Is she more strict than you're telling me? You could say she's a bit scary. You could say that she's just very serious. You could also say she's just stubborn. I have talked with her before about who you are as a person. But she doesn't seem to care about what I had to say about you. <laughs> are you kidding me? I think she's a little bit worried about you coming from a single-parent household, with only your mom around, right? So, I'm thinking that when you see her this weekend, she's going to be bringing that up quite a lot. But don't let that startle you too much. As, like I said, she didn't seem to care about much else that I was telling her. As long as you can show that you're a good woman to her, I think she'll totally forget about you only having your mom around. I'm only getting more worried now. I'm used to people being a bit judgmental of those who only ever had their mom around to raise them, but it doesn't mean that I like that kind of one-sided judgment. If your mom begins to go tough on me, you'll be there to soften things up for me, right? Well, I'm going to be trying my best to support you. But I'm counting on you being able to show my mom how content you are. So, I think that'll all be fine. You want to get married to me as soon as possible, right? So, for the sake of our marriage, do your very best. I don't want you ever coming around my family again, you poor woman. I will never give my son up to such a moneyless and desperate woman as you. Who did you think would allow you to be marrying my son of all people? I would like you to apologize to me first and foremost. That was not okay, pouring water all over me like that out of nowhere. But if I didn't do that, you would have never left me alone, right? <laughs> So my only option was to pour that cold water all over you like that. Excuse me? Also, that happened to be some very fresh and natural mineral water that I threw on you, so you should be grateful for that. <laughs> but I'm starting to think that I should have used toilet water or something on someone with your likes, considering it would suit your poor self better. <laughs> Please do not ever say something like that to me again. And as for your reason of pouring water all over me like that, I have no words. Did I do something wrong by coming to your house to see you about marrying your son? All I did was walk through your front door and introduce myself. And then just like that, you were throwing water on me. Well, you just happened to be the poor little woman I imagined you to be, and that pissed me off. <laughs> I had already heard from Caleb about how you only ever had one parent, but the way you even talked to me got my blood boiling really showed me just how incompetent your mother was at raising a child. I suppose not everyone is fit to be a parent, or even a wife at that. <laughs> what? I 
heard all I needed to hear about you from Caleb already. He did say that you're employed at a rather large company and all, but you graduated from some small community college in the middle of nowhere. And I'm sure that's because you never had a father figure there to help raise you, right? Do you have a problem with me only ever having my mom around me growing up? I'm not sure if you've heard this yet, but my dad ended up passing away in a crash long ago. And ever since then, my mom has been raising me all on her own, but I'm not sure what the problem is with that. It is sad that things happened like that, which ended up leaving your mom as a single woman, but her never getting remarried has sealed your fate. Compared to the powerful family that I've raised my sons in, your little mother and daughter household is a disgrace. What about me only having my mom around to raise me is a disgrace, though? Oh, you already know what makes that a disgrace. <laughs> As you can see with my family, my husband and I were able to raise kids that have all gone to very famous universities. And as of right now, everyone is a doctor. <laughs> In other words, that means my family of doctors is all leagues above whatever moneyless and meaningless household your mother's raised you in. Making you both disgraces. <laughs> I think that's the perfect word to describe you guys with. If I may, I don't exactly remember you being a doctor yourself, Victoria. Caleb told me that all your life you've only ever been a housewife. This is not about me! It is very important for the mother to always be at home in order to raise such a respectable family. Now listen to me. What you should be very aware of after today is that my very wonderful son is never going to be allowed to marry some woman who comes from nothing besides poverty and sadness. I'm sure that someone like you is only wanting to marry him in order to get close to my family's money, right? You only want to be his wife because you know he makes so much money. You are wrong about that. The only reason that I want to be married to your son is because I love the man he is. Oh, absolutely not! You are not going to get away with such a weak lie as that. <laughs> Let me just say that I've done my fair amount of research into you, and that means I know for a fact that you're the type of woman who is only after money when it comes to men. What do you mean, fair amount of research? I had to do my research since I'm the mother of a family filled with doctors. <laughs> and from what I've learned, you're not even worth a second of my son's time. You may not think I know much about you, but a woman in her fifties like me is able to do anything and everything in order to preserve the purity of her kids. And that means spending days looking into all your social media accounts, finding everything I needed to know about you. <laughs> what? And out of all those accounts, I found your Instagram to be the worst. It was filled with all these pictures of you standing around with all kinds of brand bags and clothing like you belong to some rich family yourself. I knew from that moment that your only goal in life is to get as much money as possible from the men you find. <laughs> That's the truth, right? I am so sorry, but I think that you've wasted your time. I don't even have an Instagram, so I'm not sure who you were looking at on there. If anything, I don't have any social media accounts at all. So who you were looking at was someone else. Stop lying to me. I know you're nothing more than a low-life, moneyless parasite. I was able to find out everything about you as the mother and wife of a doctor's only family. So there is no way on this holy earth that I've made a mistake about you. But I'm not kidding you. I don't have an Instagram account. Even now, you're not going to just confess to me that you only want Caleb for his money, huh? Well, so be it. All I want you to understand after today is that your marriage to Caleb will never happen and that you and him are nothing. The engagement is off. I will never allow you to be married to my son as long as I'm the mother of this household. You can't be serious. Can you please just listen to what I have to say? Also, could you please stop calling me some moneyless lowlife like that? Same with my mom, please. That's not something someone in as high of a position as you are should be saying about others. It's not fair to me, and you're beginning to get on my nerves now. Shut your mouth right now! I will not be talked to like that by some fatherless whore! You are never going to have that dream of being married to my wealthy son come true! <laughs> then I guess this is really it for Caleb and I. Good! 
And don't you ever come near my family again. <laughs> it's a promise, then. I never thought that things would go this far south in such a short amount of time. But since you don't seem to want to listen to me, rather, sticking to your thoughts of me only wanting money from your family, I'll grant your wish of never becoming your son's wife. As I don't want to have a mother-in-law like you either. Perfect! Now you go and tell Caleb that things are off and that you will never be seeing him again. And before you end things for good, you apologize to him for wasting his time making him think he'd ever be allowed to marry low-life garbage like you. <laughs> Hey, Caleb, you and I are no longer going to be getting married, and you and I being engaged is over with. What? Your mom doesn't seem to want us being married to each other at all. Her and I just finished up talking about a lot of things regarding myself, and it seems that she just does not want to listen to anything I have to say. And that's why the only option I have now is saying goodbye to you. Wait, 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 what do you mean you just finished talking with her? And she's not listening to anything you want to say? You shouldn't be saying anything to her at all. I told you before that all you have to do is listen to what she has to say. That's it. Jesus. Are you an idiot or something? Now you've gone and gotten our whole relationship ruined by talking back to her like that. Don't you dare joke around with me. I am very upset with your mom right now over this, but you're the one I'm most pissed off with right now. With me? You watched as your mom poured water all over me as I walked into her house, and you didn't even bother to hand me a towel. All you did was stand in the corner laughing over what your mom was saying to me. Why did you not come to help me at all then? Yo, you're asking me that? All I was doing was reading the air for God's sake. My mom loves the hell out of me. So if I were to come to your aid at a time like that, uh, she would have started to yell at me too. I'm not going to listen to an excuse like that, Caleb. You watched as your fiancé got soaked in freezing cold water from head to toe, right? At a time like that, you should be coming to help me and warning your mom to stop that. No, no, hold on. I did want to do something like that, all right? But, as you could see after what she did, my mom is a very tough person to deal with, and is better to just be left alone, right? My mom taught me something very important about relationships. She said that if the man I plan on marrying is caring about someone more than me, then he's not worth marrying at all. And that's why I agree with calling off our marriage now. I hate both your mom and you now. Huh? Are you being serious right now, Riley? If you call off our marriage, that means you and I are breaking up, okay? Yeah, and that's why I'm being serious about it. I don't want to force myself to be with you any longer, especially since now I can see you and I don't have a future together anymore. So I think ending everything between us right now is the most efficient way of saving our futures from being filled with sadness and hate. This is the best for both of us, alright? What the hell? You should be happy that I chose you to become my wife. Y yet you're telling me that you aren't happy being my fiancé anymore? What the hell is this? Stop it with all that BS right now! You can't talk to me like that when you're just a woman. What did you just say to me? I, I, I thought that you'd be the perfect fit for my wife. You don't look all too bad in terms of your figure, and you happen to work for a very good company. You even make a pretty penny there. But I thought that I could still best you because you come from a mother-only household and went to a community college. That's why I was fine with making you my wife. But now I can see you're nothing more than a back-talking, brain-dead whore. Unbelievable. So that's how you've been thinking of me this whole time? Well, of course it is. If it wasn't for your looks and that job of yours, no one would want to make you their wife. You were raised in a broken family for crying out loud. <laughs> but 
who cares now? Because things between you and I are over right now. After this, while you're crying and regretting saying such things as that to me, I want you to know that it's too late to come back to me. And that's just fine. I'm not going to have any regrets about this. Uh, go ahead and try acting all strong and tough like that after today. You'll realize that you lost the one and only chance in your life to become a part of an elite family such as mine. And you'll regret it until the day you die. There are no other men in this world willing to marry a lowlife woman like you. So you've lost at this game of life. <laughs> Your days of dreaming about a life of luxury and happiness are over. As the one man with all that is saying goodbye to you now too. Don't make me begin to laugh at your complete misunderstanding of the position that you're in. Huh? The only one here that's missed their once-in-a-lifetime chance is you, Caleb. You just let your one and only chance to marry such a fabulous woman as me slip through your fingers. So I hope you realize that later on when regret begins to build up. Who the hell do you think you are? Fabulous woman? <laughs> No fabulous woman comes from a fatherless family. <laughs> nice try there, Riley. But talking like that isn't going to ruin my mood any. I am far superior to you in every way, since I happen to be a very successful doctor. I happen to only be in my 20s, yet I'm already making $200,000 a year with my work. You think that $200,000 a year is something to be proud of? I happen to be making multiple times that amount right now. What? Making more than me? You, you are? And that mom of mine that you guys seem to make fun of all the time is making even more than I am currently. So with all this money that the both of us are making, you're going to still make fun of my mom and I like that? Just because her and I don't happen to be doctors and I don't have a father around me. What, what do you mean? What do you mean you're making that much more than me? And your mother is making even more than you? You are an office worker and your mother has been single for years now. That's right. I'm just some office worker. Just some office worker working for her mom's company. But even if I'm just an office worker, that doesn't mean I'm not important to her company. I am a director there, after all. A director? And wait, your mother's company? You, your your mother? She's the CEO of that company? You've known about how I've been working for this pretty large company the whole time we've been together, right? Well, that company has actually been my mom's company this whole time. Huh? So, so that makes you the CEO's daughter? And you'll probably become the next CEO of that company? Well, that's what it looks like. But I'm not all that amazing when it comes to doing the work my mom can do, so I'm not really sure I will take over the company next. I think I'd rather let someone more experienced than me take the helm next, so you don't have to call me the upcoming CEO or anything like that. And I'm not sure my mom plans on giving me the company after her either. What? My mom happens to be a very serious woman when it comes down to her company. Which means she's not going to let me have the easy road by just giving me the title of CEO next. Heck, to get where I am now, I had to study for years about the kind of work I'd have to do as a director and have all the qualifications as well. I even had to take a few tests within the company to get here, so I like to say that the position I'm at now was not handed to me, and neither would the position of CEO. Everyone within this company knows that this position wasn't just handed to me, and that's why I'm respected by everyone here. But, uh, but wait a second. You, 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 you never said anything about any of that to me before. You, you, you never said that you're a director at your mother's company and, and and you never said anything about how your mom is the one running that large company either did you 
and I guess I'll apologize to you for that. But my mom told me to never bring any of that up with men like you. She said all that information was to be kept to myself until after marriage. She said I'd only attract beggars by talking about my mom's situation and all that, so it was best for me to just stay quiet. What? My mom's been through a lot herself and wants to make sure that I'm okay when it comes to finding myself the right man. Actually, back in middle school, someone had learned about my mom being a CEO of a very large company, and after that, the news of it spread all over. I had to spend years with people always asking me for money and asking to come over to my house to play. So after I had finally graduated high school and escaped all of that, my mom made sure that I never said a word about her position again. No way. That's why I never really talk about my family or my work to anyone anymore. Even if they are the people I love and care for. I really did love you a lot, and being your girlfriend and fiancé was some of the best memories I'll ever have. That's why I was totally fine making you my husband, and then after that I'd tell you all the details about my mom and myself. But only months before we could get married, you showed me who you really are and let me see just the kind of monster your mother is as well. I guess I need to get better at figuring out which men are really men, if you know what I mean. What, what is with you saying that about me? You're making it seem like I'm not a good man at all. Well, you're not. <laughs> you seem to think it's okay to pick on me for having only really been raised by my mom. And on top of that, when your own mother began to attack and tear into me, you just sat there laughing because you didn't want your mommy getting upset with you next. You are absolute trash when it comes to what men should be. What? Well, that's it from me. I hope that you can find yourself a proper woman for you next, who will be far more willing to take crap from your mother and not say a single thing in return. Uh, uh um, is it really true that you're the daughter of a CEO? Uh, that your mother is the CEO of a company like that? And you're one of the directors there? I'm sure you already know the answer to that, and don't need to be asking me anything. I mean, you're the mother and wife of a family of doctors, so you're able to find out just about anything and know that it's the truth. After looking at all my non-existent social media accounts, were you not able to learn that about me? Ah, <laughs> uh, um, wait, uh, that was... Pardon me, I didn't exactly mean to pick on you like that. I would never talk or post about that sort of stuff on social media had I made any accounts for you to snoop through. <laughs> I don't have time to be doing any of that petty crap, nor do I want to. But, but I did find your accounts online. The accounts had your name on them, and the woman on Instagram looked just like you. Well, there were no pictures of your face on there, but I could tell immediately that the person in those posts was you. So you're not even going to accept that you were wrong this whole time? Well then, let me just tell you to make sure you look very closely at the names on those accounts. I'm sure that there have been accounts with my name on them, but if you take a good look, my last name is a bit different than theirs are. What? You might be thinking that Marshall is the same as Marshall. Ah! And when you take a look at the info on those accounts, they do not match the info that I would have. Like the schools I've gone to and things like that. I went to a small college called Delta College back near my hometown. What the one account that I've found says is that they went to Harvard. Not only is the name wrong, but so is the school. Yet you still had full confidence thinking they were me. <laughs> What is this? You think you can just mess with me like that? I'm sure you just put your name in incorrectly on Instagram to hide yourself. And you changed what school you went to to Harvard to make yourself look better. I know all sorts of people do things like that online to make themselves look good. And I think that someone like you would do that all so that you could get closer to my son for his money. I see. I didn't know that was such a popular thing people did, since I don't use social media myself. You happen to know a lot about how people will change their names a little bit to hide who they really are and lie about the school they graduated from very well, don't you, Victoria? Perhaps that's because you used the same tactic to get with your husband? <laughs> 
Excuse me? I actually went and took a look into you as well, Victoria. I happen to not be so good with that sort of stuff, though, so I hired someone who knows all about computers and social media to do the sifting through for me. You hired someone? A pro, to be precise. And from what they found, you happen to hold numerous accounts all over the internet. You have one where you fake being a woman in her early 20s that just graduated out of college. And another one where you act like you're working for a supermarket and can make all kinds of different meals using their produce. I also like the account you made where you act like you went and graduated from Harvard yourself, even though really you only came from a small trade school. To me, you seem to really love lying about yourself, all with the intent of getting people to like you. Ah! Uh, why? Why do you know about all my accounts? And how did you figure out that I graduated from a trade school? I just had to ask a pro to help me out is all. H have you gone and told my son all of this yet? Uh, does Caleb know about all of this? What merit is there to telling your son about all of this? Alright, I am never going to make fun of yourself or your mother ever again. And if you're still wanting to get married to my son, you can go right ahead with it. So please, just keep yourself from telling any of the truth to my family, okay? I've already gone and broken up with Caleb, and I don't want to see his face anymore. So I'd really just like for you to use what's happened here today as a very good reason to never talk poorly about those who come from single-parent households ever again. Ah, one other thing. Can you send me the picture that was taken of me when you poured all that water on me? I would like to have it, please. Sure! I'll send it to you right now! Thank you very much. I'll be waiting for it to come. Hey, I think it's close to the point where we've both calmed down quite a bit. Do you think we can both go out to eat together now? I'd like to talk with you again about getting married, Riley. Why do you think it's important for either of us to be talking to one another anymore? You and I have broken up completely now and have nothing to do with one another anymore, right? Don't say something as cold-hearted as that, alright? I won't let my mother ever say anything so rude to you again, and I'll always be there to help. So, uh, let's make up. I have learned a lot in the past couple of weeks, and I think you and I would make a very good married couple. This is so strange. Were you always that brain dead, Caleb? What? Thinking that after all your mom said to me that there'd even be a small chance of us getting back together? You must have been lobotomized to think so carelessly about things now. Are you still able to do your job as a doctor when your frontal lobe is no longer intact? Excuse me? Y you I'm giving you the chance right now to get your life back on track with me. You're not giving me any chances right now. Rather, you're just trying to play games with me. Who would ever want to get back together with a child like you? Would you like me to come over and pour freezing cold water all over your head? What? I'm going to block your number and then delete your information, so never try talking to me again, okay? Goodbye now. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! You can at least come out to eat, right? Just come out and talk a little. If I have the time to be doing something like that, I'll use it finding myself a real man. Have a good one, Caleb. After that, I started to get letters in the mail from Caleb and his family, giving their apologies for everything that happened. Even with his dad and siblings being overseas and having to do so much work as doctors, they all seemed very worried by what Caleb and his mother had done to me. But it wasn't as though his dad and siblings were asking me to get married to him, but rather they really wanted me to know how badly they felt for what he'd done to me. Saying that out of the whole family, he was the biggest failure because he'd never learned any other languages like they had. And wasn't even able to get all the proper certifications to be a real doctor. 
His dad also wrote to me saying that once he'd gotten home from his time overseas, he'd make sure to properly handle Caleb and set him straight. When it comes to Victoria, her husband found out about her accounts and how she misassumed me as being someone else. Therefore, he had her throw away her smartphone and gave her an old flip phone, which she'd have to use from now on so that she couldn't access any form of social media. But that wasn't all, as he made sure she couldn't use any more of his credit cards and would be handed $150 a month to use for herself instead. As of right now, both Caleb and Victoria have been living quietly, rarely ever doing anything besides sit at home and go out to do some tasks. And I'd like to assume that's all because of what Victoria's husband, Caleb's dad, had said to the both of them when he got back home.